Well, I started my adventures in 1994, and I've been doing 28 expeditions in 100 countries today. So now I'm doing my biggest adventure ever, which is called Pole to Pole, which is a journey from the North Pole to the actual South Pole, uh, the geographical one. And it will take me approximately like one year, and now I made it to Vancouver from the North Pole. And how are you traveling? I'm traveling with bike, I'm traveling with dog sled, I'm traveling with a sailboat, I'm traveling uh, just hiking and uh, also with uh, skis. So it's kind of a mixture between everything environmental. And what message do you want to send about the planet with this journey you're taking? Nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. So all the small steps can actually lead to a huge um, step. I think that we all can do small, small things in our ordinary day life to be able to make this world a better place. And what's the re most remarkable thing you've seen in Canada so far? Unfortunately, the ice melting. Uh, when I was going, I was actually going to Greenland first, and then going Greenland down, then over to Ottawa. But I had to go to Northwest Territories instead because there was no ice left. The whole ice was melted be 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 between the North Pole and, and Greenland. So uh, it was actually pretty scary to see how much the ice has melted. And what message do you have for people who might say that climate change is uh, not as serious as uh, the scientists might be talking about? Well, I mean, I've seen it for real. And I also, uh, I did the Northwest Passage uh, in 97. And I actually seen, I've been working with a scientist for such a long time now, with both United Nations and, and Discovery Channel and National Geographic, and I've seen the actual differences. So it's actually true, it is happening. And it's a mixture between maybe a, a circle going around every 10,000 years, but also that, that mankind has actually changed the planet a lot. So we do have to really be aware of our planet, because we only have one. 